student union leaders were part of the activities that, uh, or activists rather, that campaigned against military rule and advocated uh, the June 12 mandate. Plus TV Africa correspondent Aneta Felix speaks to some of them as they recall the fight for the soul of democracy. Executive Director, Women Advocates Research and Documentation Center, Abiola Akiode, was a 22-year-old student union leader at the Obafemi Awolowo University in 1993, the year of the popular June 12 presidential election in Nigeria. She recalls the militarized political climate at the time and the democratic yearnings of Nigerians like it was yesterday. Nigeria was in a bad situation. Terrible militaristic uh, uh, experience that Nigerians have had. So it was, Nigerians were ready, you know, to have a democratic experience. When the military government of General Ibrahim Babangida annulled the election of June 12, 1993, Abiola and other student leaders at IFE and the University of Lagos rose up to advocate for democracy in the face of threats to their lives and freedom. A whole lot of people lost their lives during that period. Uh, some of us were picked up, were arrested, were prevented from traveling to go and talk about the issue. I remember I was picked up on my way to uh, Benin Republic uh, with Dr. Tunji Abayomi. Nadeko member Ayodele Adewale was a student union president at the Lagos State University and one of the foot soldiers of the June 12 struggle. His experience fighting for democracy was no different from Abiola's. We were always agitating. The soldiers would come, we shoot at us, we throw tear gas. Sometimes we throw the tear gas back. Abiola reflects on the day June 12, 1993, and what it means for Nigeria. June 12 was a journey, and it was a journey that shows that Nigeria has resilience. Nigerians rejected military, and we didn't stop. A lot of people died, a lot of people were maimed, a lot of people were expelled, a lot of people were suspended, a lot of people spent more time in prison than they could ever imagine. But Nigerians were resolute. On June 12, Nigeria stood. Even though MKO Abiola passed on in prison, Ayodele describes June 12 and the struggle for the soul of democracy as unregrettable. Yes, we might not have the kind of democracy that we want, but it's still far better than being in the military uh, gulag. If we have more ideologically sound people in this democratic system, then we can gain power. Other prominent names of the June 12 struggle are Chief Gani Fawemi, Dr. Beko Ransom Kuti, Professor Wole Shoinka, Pa Ayo Okpadokun, among others. Years later, on June 12, 2018, President Muhammad Buhari apologized to the family of late Chief MKO Abiola and conferred a posthumous award on him as the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, GCFR. The day, June 12, also became recognized as the New Democracy Day and is celebrated annually as a reminder of the democratic possibilities in Nigeria. Aneta Felix, PLOS TV Africa. Welcome back. The story and victory of June 12 struggle.